So Angry Joe has released a statement regarding the allegations against him. I'm going to read them to you, and then we will discuss. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So a couple days ago, a Twitch streamer um, named Wookie Monster TV, um, or also known as Queen of the Feeders, made allegations against Angry Joe Vargas, saying that he assaulted her. I read the whole blog message that she had she she said he spun her around and pushed her against the wall um and there was a whole bunch of other stuff in there i'll have uh, at the end of this at the end cap of this video you, i'll have the original video there you could check it out um and i'll also have her medium blog post so you could read all the details it's a fairly long read and it goes into a bunch of different things if you want to actually read all of it I'll have it linked below. Well, Angry Joe released a statement on Twitter yesterday regarding the allegations. It's a fairly long read. I'll read it to you and then I'll give you my take. It has come to my attention that someone I met at a public event more than two years ago and I have had no contact with since is now suddenly leveling allegations against me on social media. I want to be absolutely clear. These allegations are not true and anyone who looks at the facts can plainly see that. I have no idea why this person has decided to do this to me at this time, but the fact that a defamatory smear posted on the internet can ruin lives these days compels me to make this statement. Here are the facts. This person approached me and my colleagues at a Twitch party introducing herself as a fellow content creator who was interested in hanging out and networking. We exchanged Twitter handles. She then DM me that same night at 2.16 a.m. asking to see me again. I agreed and invited her to my public panel the next day, then to a YouTube dinner meeting with account managers afterwards. She showed up to my panel with a male friend who was more than welcome to join us at any point throughout the rest of the day or night after the panel concluded. After my panel, we met up with my friend Other Joe, I referred to him as Little Joe yesterday, my apologies, and we traveled together to the hotel where she chose to wait while I showered and got ready for the dinner. At no point did anything improper happen. I never offered or suggested sex. At the meeting, I helped her network her channels with YouTube partner managers. After the dinner, my friends and I attended another party in a public place. She tagged along. At the party, she checked her bag slash belongings. At no point did I ever take her phone or purse or deny her access to them. In fact, she posted photos to her Twitter of her with other people throughout the night i never grabbed dragged pushed pulled cornered or spun her in any direction as she claims i did not make her stand by my side at all times as she claims we mingled at the party separately much of the time all these facts can be confirmed by numerous people who were there that evening and her own account confirms these events in her post she claims that she believed i was pressuring her for sex this is completely untrue i never suggested sex i never spoke about sex i never touched her inappropriately she is a grown-up and we were out in public and she could have left at any time I was just trying to help someone who had expressed interest in the industry and my show I never imagined this could be a bad thing sexual assault is an alarming accusation and should always be taken seriously if I or anyone had committed an offense then it should be reported to the police and investigated thoroughly I urge this person to do that if she believes an offense occurred so I can clear my name. However, instead of affording me due process, she decided to post false claims out of the blue more than two years later. The consequence is damage to not only my reputation, career, and brand, but also to those whom I employ, my friends, and my family, all because many people don't bother to examine the facts, only the salacious headline. This is now a serious legal matter. On the advice of my attorneys, all my future statements about this will be through the legal process. My lawyers are sending this person a cease and desist letter. Of course, she is free to express her opinions about me all she wants. What she is not allowed to do is lie about me or defame me to the public and suggest that I am a sexual predator when I am not.
If her defamation continues, I will be forced to take further legal action. I have been in the public eye for 12 years now, and all of this frustrates me so much because fabricated and embellished stories like hers do a disservice to victims of sexual harassment and abuse. I want to thank those who resisted the temptation to rush to judgment and took the time to look at the facts. Thank you for your support. I just realized now I still have the IGN logo behind me. Oh, well, IGN for the Angry Joe video. All right. So does this exonerate Joe? No. Does this condemn Joe? No. Does this exonerate Wookiee Monster? No. Does this condemn Wookiee Monster? No. Here is what needs to happen now. Okay. There needs to be an investigation. There needs to be at that whiskey's bar or wherever else anyone witnessed Joe and Wookiee Monster together. There needs to be eyewitnesses spoken to. Did you see anything? Did you notice anything? There has to be a bunch of witnesses. And I'm sure there should have been if he was at a panel and it was at a public gathering. There had to have been. Okay. There needs to be people talk to they need there needs to be eyewitness accounts and there needs to be evidence brought forward because at this point it's all hearsay it's he said she said yes there's things i know she backtracked on but maybe when she was writing her blog up because it happened a couple years ago the things were foggy okay i'm not defending her or attacking her and i'm not defending joe or attacking joe but i'm just saying how it has to go now Okay, there needs to be an investigation and we need to find out the truth. And if in this at PAX 2018, even if it was like a semi private bar party, there had to be witnesses there. So people need to be spoken to and we need to find out more information so we could find out actually what the truth is. It's hard to get to the truth in these cases. Again, a high percentage of women that come forward, I believe it's 94 percent are telling the truth but 6% do lie. Most don't, virtually all don't, but there is a small percentage that do lie. And I showed you yesterday, there was a court case where the woman went to jail because she accused two college football players, the same college she was going to, of R-A-P-E when it was consensual sex. So it's not the rule that women lie. It's definitely the few and far between exception, but it does happen. You can't say it doesn't happen. So the thing with believe all women shouldn't be the case. It has to be believe evidence because even if it's a small percentage of women that are lying, should that small percentage of men they're accusing, should their lives be ruined because of the fact that, oh, it's just a small percentage. They're just collateral damage. I don't agree with that. So, all right. We have both parties stating their cases. Now we need to find evidence. We can't just say, oh, it's done. Joe released a statement or, oh, it's done. Wookie Monster released a statement. Now we have to dig deeper and hopefully that happens. This is Rich at Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.